Spooky, and this is my home. Can you, humble human, make it through a thousand rooms? Can you find the notes left behind and uncover the hidden stories? Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. Feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I am being watched by something. <coughs> this is not romantic at all. I know something is following me. But I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. I don't think that was wine. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. But really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic.
Sarah came to class today. I hope she made it home, okay? was just to keep us disappearing, but Azuri is still missing. escape this place. But despite the trees and flora, I think this is actually just another room. I did however find deer, so I might at least get to eat. It makes some strange sounds though. I don't know what they are, but those are definitely not deer. I tried sneaking up on one the other day to kill for food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. Barely able to get away from the thing. Managed to board up most of them. Hopefully, I can find another way out of here. Research Report 1. More whales are being shipped to the facility tomorrow. One for a health inspection, and two that are already dead for autopsies. More and more beached whales keep appearing around those islands, and I still 
can't find out what's causing it. Research report two. Whale 014-D has strange small bite marks. They appear from another small mammal, but the strangest thing about them is their placement. They are in even rows inside the whale's stomach, all about five feet from the bottom of the stomach lining. Research report three. Whale 015-A is still alive, but gets into fits of thrashing and is surfacing more often than natural. I think there may be a problem with its lungs, but I don't have any tools that would allow me to check it without it dying. I'll have to allow it to die from whatever is causing it, and then do an autopsy. Research Report 4 Whale 015-D has died much sooner than I expected while I was away on holiday. I regret not being here, but I had estimated it would live much longer. The team that did the autopsy said nothing seemed to be wrong with the lungs, but the stomach had a circular hole about two feet in diameter, all the way through to the outside of the whale. This pretty much confirms a parasite is the cause of death. Research Report 5. The research facility is now in dire need of more engineers. We have a whole block that is flooded and some vital staff are missing. Research Report 6. I hear a girl, or an animal, or something, singing to me, pleading that I come outside my locked room and let the sweeping waves comfort me. Research Report 7. All the staff is gone, only I remain. For no purpose I remain here, resisting the call from behind the sealed door, but I will remain. As long as I can. Don't open that door. And then I watched carelessly as the sea rose above the sky. Casting waving shadows over the world, I saw the silhouettes of creatures both familiar and forgotten, and suddenly I found myself falling upwards towards an ocean of darkness.
406. Something sinister is beating on the wall of my subconscious, beating like a war drum, motioning me to march down into hell. Nurse Tanika, report 407. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't. It may have been my body and my hands, but I know it wasn't me. Dear reader, I am known as Jasper Midnight. I appear to be trapped within our house of horrors, so to speak. While at first glance I thought this was nothing more than a carnival fun house with scary pop-outs and irritating ambiance, it has lasted quite longer than I expected. I am going to write these notes as I journey on in order to inform any unfortunate souls that follow me. Sincerely, J.M. Dear reader, today was an interesting day. I found what appears to be a spider or centipede-like creature following me. It was a glorious yet somewhat unfulfilling encounter. After only a few wounds, it got away from me. Sincerely, Jane. Dear reader, this madness just continues to get better. I found a room today that was delightfully themed around rusted and abandoned asylums. I say themed simply because it was too perfect to be real. I even found strange creatures holding on to the grated floor writhing in some sinister dance. Sincerely, J.M. Dear reader, <laughs> I love this place! It is like a nightmare without the haze of sleep or a daydream you would have while drowning. Today I found a creature behind a fake forest of terrible delights. They move without moving and speak through a face without a bottom jaw. Sincerely, J.M. Dear reader, this has been a life-changing journey for me. For a long time, I felt this emptiness that both hollowed and overwhelmed me. But now I have a place in this world. I no longer feel a coldness within me, but rather a growing fire. Sincerely, J.M. Dear reader, the world is an ashtray, constantly burning out. It is full of hardship, turmoil, happiness, and love, and all of it is beautiful. Sincerely, J.M. to me and witness the beauty of this world. Witness the terrible and terrific. Sincerely, J.M. Congratulations, I guess. Uh, well... Oh! Now you must pass one final test to prove your fortitude or dedication or something. Like the YouTube video and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment on the video too, sure, why not? Follow us on all our platforms and share this with someone you think would like the spooky content. Happy Halloween!